Hello everyone. I have posted a question on my LinkedIn account. Now it's time to explain that. The question is basically with respect to metal one, and uh, I have mentioned like uh, if at the input of the metal one, as per the figure one, we apply waveform as per figure two. The most accurate output waveform is. So a lot of candidates replied, but unfortunately they missed the part most accurate. Now let me explain you the concept. This is a metal one wire. A metal one has a width, thickness, and the length. Now because of the width and the thickness, we can say that there is a resistance between a point A and a B. When whenever we are talking about the resistance, so basically in the design we usually talk about resistance per unit length. So basically the resistance formula is R equals to rho L by A. And if we are talking about resistance per unit length, it become rho divided by W into T. Now, because of this resistance, any waveform is going to shift little bit. So, when I am saying it will shift, it means there will be a delay between point A and the point B. So, by the time it will start from the point A, and by the time it will reach at a point B, there is a delay. So, if you apply this waveform, there is a possibility that it will delay by a time it will reach the point B. So let us suppose if you consider a delay of one nanosecond because of this resistance, then the ideal waveform shifted by one nanosecond. So you will get the waveform something like this. And the design wire also have some surrounding environment, like other layers of the substrate or the ground or the power lines or plates. Now that is the reason for your reference. I have mentioned in the question the metal six. So that you can understand that there are other metal wires also. So we can say that there are chances of capacitance between two plates, between metal one and other metal surfaces or the layers. If that's the case, wire will be something like this. So now, so now it become RC circuit. Now every RC circuit has a rise time and the fall time based on the resistance and the capacitance of the wire. If I consider only that particular part, then the waveform will be something like this. Now, if you will superimpose these two waveforms, that is the wave, the shift in the waveform when it uh, goes from A to B, and only the RC effect, then you will get the waveform as per the option C. So option B is also accurate, but in the question it is mentioned that the most accurate output is. So if we consider all the factor, most accurate waveform is as per the option C. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned, and uh, we will come up question which is on a conceptual base, and uh, we will explain that particular part in the next week also. Thanks a lot.